Hi guys, it's Steffi from The Novelty Corner and welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of my aromatherapy DIY Christmas gifts. If you saw the first part, which I will leave linked on the screen above, you will have seen me make the little essential oil rollerball bottles and I've made some of these for Christmas gifts and today I'm going to be making matching room sprays to go with the rollerballs. So I'm going to walk you through step by step making one and then I'm going to speed up the video and make the rest of them. And yeah, that's pretty much most of my Christmas stuff done, which is brilliant. Okay, so hopefully you can see, and I'm back in my little tiny cramped corner of my kitchen. So apologies for any mess. And ignore the cords. That's for the light so that we can actually sort of see. I do apologize for the shadow at the back. I'm not gonna be able to get very much light in there at all. For this project, I need the essential oils that I use in my rollerball blends. I'm also gonna use witch hazel. The witch hazel just helps to mix the essential oils in with the water. You could use any type of distilled alcohol, you could use vodka, you can use a few other bits and pieces and if you google it there's a whole lot of different ways you can even use um, baking soda and things like that. But I have some witch hazel so I'm going to use that. I'm going to use a funnel to help get everything in and I have some filtered water. My spray bottles came from Eco Modern Essentials. They were really cheap. I think you can get five for like twelve dollars or something like that and they're just a nice little size and they can be reused. I've also got my labels ready to go, which I'll attach once they're done. And I've got the rubbing alcohol just to clean the bottles before I attach the labels. Okay, so I'm going to start with one of the women's blend. And I already have the label on this. I can't remember why. I think I was showing you guys something. Let's just check if this is open. I'm actually going to put about a tablespoon of the rubbing alcohol in each jar. You could do it halfway, but you really just need enough for it to mix the essential oils. We'll take that out. For the bottles, you want to really put in between 10 and 20 drops. Give it a bit of a shake. And then you just fill the bottle up with the water. You really only want to fill it to where it starts to curve in. Then just give it a shake and it's ready to go. So I'm gonna speed up this process now and make the rest of these bottles. Those are my DIY room sprays and ultimately my little gift pack is going to look like that which I think is super cute and I think is a really nice thoughtful Christmas gift. So I hope that the people who are receiving these enjoy them. 